I don't have any equipment. All right. So, as you probably saw, I've been betrayed by basically everyone in the Loyalist conspiracy. Yep. <sighs> Which probably should have seen coming because they obviously didn't have the best of intentions in mind. That being said, I think it's a really great betrayal because you see a lot of games This is the musical device that the overseer is to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I guess we'll have a good look at it. Doubt. Finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he is proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. Newly minted Lord Regent Havelock! Jesus Christ! The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon, I expect the bounty to double. Because we all have- uh, because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Union Sailor Elizabeth Corvo, in custody to be delivered alive. Yeah. Hmm. So, Dowd and his little- what do I want to say? Like, faction of masked assassins that he shares his little supernatural powers with. Uh, they've captured me alive because Samuel... And you gotta love Samuel. Samuel only gave me half the poison. He was supposed to kill me for them. Yep. Luckily, you can't confiscate my powers. Oh. Huh. I don't see how there would be a rat up here, so... I'm not sure how I'd be able to get through that little crate. I wonder what's behind that. Okay. Yep. Oh, right at what I was saying before. A lot of games have betrayals in, like, the 3-4 mark in them. That just suck. This one's pretty good. Because, honestly, it makes... <gasps> Okay. Shoot. Yeah. 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 You're alive. Oh. I think I teleported through the bolt that he fired at me. Ronaldo, do the job as you were told, and do not question my planning again. The women who meet in the ruins of the Brigmore Manor possess abilities like your own. They use poisons. Just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. The leader of the Brigmore Witches must pay for a betrayal. If you succeed, your share will be enough. Okay. Right, so it does make sense that the Loyalist would betray you. Not in like a, oh, I would do that too kind of way, but in a, yeah, they would get a lot out of betraying Corvo. Like, first of all, they don't have to announce that, oh yeah, they helped Corvo kill all those people in order to regain power. They also don't have to associate with Corvo at all, and they can still claim that he killed the Empress. And with that, if they kill Corvo themselves and bring in his head, they basically get double the reputation. Jesus. Yeah, so I'm in the flooded district now. It's been referenced a lot of times in the game already. But now you finally get here, and it's absolutely terrible. It's probably the worst affected part of the city, by the plague, I mean. Most of it's water, so it's kind of an unusual level in that regard. Yep. Basically, there are no regular guard stations here, but there are a lot of weepers. Oh, and those are river crusts from before. 
My nose is a bit stuffy. I might sound different. Anyways, and... Yeah! Those crusts are already shooting at me? Do I have a pistol? None of them were carrying pistols, right? They use those little wrist crossbows. There we go. Oh, I'm back to square one. This is an unupgraded pistol. Hmm? Oh, my gear's that way. Okay. Dowd space is this way. Ah. Oh, I probably still have the heart, don't I? It's not really a physical object. So. They will shoot the deep ones here, breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. When the sea wall broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing. The water is so cold. And it's the last thing I feel. Oh, more river crests. Anyway, I think I've been alluding to the fact that I have a favorite area in the game just by saying, oh yeah, this is like my second favorite area. I want to say that the flooded district is my favorite, but it's one of those odd situations where you can't exactly recall why. You just have a really good memory of it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this thing's inaccurate as hell. Okay. I miss my old pistol. Problem solved. I'm glad the overseers carry grenades on them now. Never thought I'd get so much use out of it. Bid you safety and courage. Assassin Dowd and his cultist followers were commonly known as the Whalers due to the oil worker masks they wear. Beware for Dowd may possess power and resistance beyond expectation. Based inside the Chamber of Commerce building in the ruins of Central Rudshore, all roads to this area have been blocked, with the exception of the elevated rails. March carefully, for the cultists undoubtedly employ spies to watch the route. Oh yeah, you get a lot of money from Rivercrest. I better cash in. I bet Dark Vision will probably be able to find the pearls. The little ones don't seem to drop any, just the big ones. So yeah, this is like a... This is an unusual mission, it uh, deviates away from the formula. And it's because you're really on your own. There's no Samuel, there's... Dessen sprung their trap as we tried to cross a narrow bridge. We thought we could draw them inside our greater numbers could make more of a difference, but it didn't matter. Now I'm the only one left alive. Please, if a second group attempts to come this way, beware of that bridge. They're listening for the sound of the door opening. They're listening for the... Okay, I gotta remember that. I do like the knives that the whalers use, though. These things are pretty cool. Oh, weepers. Oh, yes, and there's also a very interesting visual element in this part of the area here. Uh, leaking whale oil tanks just release this glowing liquid across the ground here. It's this really unique way of illuminating an environment. God, the art direction in this game is amazing. So I think what the heart implied earlier is that there used to be a seawall here. Well, you know, because Dunwall borders the ocean and all that. And I guess it broke. And so they just basically 
closed off this entire section. Huh? Oh, wait, that would just take me back. I think. And basically everybody here was left to die of plague. Looks like it used to be an oil refinery district or something. But I want my pistol back. Hmm? Rune that way, bone charm that way. What are these wires for? Remember to keep the stair in the up position at all times until there's a shift change. In the event of an actual emergency, main power will be shut off. Use the backup receptacle to restore it. Kind of Need to restore power? Oh, I see. By the way, just for you, eh, just for your information. Empty tanks? What am I supposed to do with those? I didn't play through this level beforehand. I'm just going through it as I usually do. Yep. Yep. It feels different. I kind of like this style. Also, I'm recording very early in the morning. Well, very early in the morning for a weekend anyways. Where do we find a jar of whale oil? Oh! Okay. Very industrial. That being said, remember how I mentioned earlier how a lot of games, their plots have like betrayal three fourths of the way through and they just, they're kind of like Disney movies in that way. Usually the level design gets a lot worse after that point in most games where there's a useless betrayal at the end. But in this game, I think this is like the best level and you saw how cool that staircase was. So the Sonnet has a lot of heart. Right there. Did I just say Dishonor has a lot of heart while I pulled out the actual heart? That wasn't like intentional. What's this? Fleet Fighter? Wait, didn't I already get this one? Maybe I accidentally reloaded a save. Um. Climb faster. Rats on. Okay, that's not as useful. So let's go with this. I should be moving slower or faster now. So normally when you have your weapons out, you move faster. But now I think it doesn't matter. Well, when you have your weapons away, is what I meant to say. Why would you come back here? Hard to say, but we should watch the streets. We'll see him from the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, we can cut him off at the market. He can't get through the rail station without the key. This one is resourceful. You'll find a way. So they know I broke out. Can I? Oh, okay. I was looking for a prompt to grab it. Hellish shift captain assigned a maintenance perk for every shift. At least authorize us to put a new whale oil canister in the backup next to the bridge. 
Reeves Company, for crying out loud. You think we'd be able to afford an extra one of our own oil tanks? So if you need to make it simple, no power bridge stays up. No pit access, we don't do our jobs, plain and simple. Yeah. These guys are a lot like me, you know? They wear cool masks. They have powers. Oh, and since we're here, I might as well mention... Uh, Morris Sullivan, the executioner at Dunwall Tower. He had powers, and I believe it's the same way with him and Granny Rags as Dowd is with his assassins. When you have the Outsider's Mark, you get to share it with people that are close to you. Uh-huh. What's this? Oh. Ships brought in great dead whalesmen would slaughter and reduce their blubber to oil. Once the man went up, the businessman moved in, wooing the best crews that promises of better pay and safer conditions. The Greaves whale house grew rapidly, and absorbing rivals until it dominated the trade. At its peak, the operation employed over 300 workers, not including the children who filled the minor, often tragic roles. Industrial leather uniforms and masks they wore to protect against the fumes. I see. Those brave children. God bless them. Harpooner songs. Been to the hunk. Oh, this is Drunken Whaler. What will you do with a drunken whaler? Place his throat with a rusty cleaver. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Nice place. I believe this is when the industrial element of Dishonored's art style really comes to an absolute. Uh. Apex. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. I've seen she weighed 35 tons. Panel light, I took her apart. Against her, I cut into the mass tentacles around her mouth. Found row upon row of teeth and bailey running along the upper jaw. I assume she filtered through the water that was too small to be chewed. And so, the whales in Dishonored are rather unique. They're both baleen and toothed. These waters are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. Just here for my gear. I want my pistols back. Maybe I should take one of these. Huh? Wait. Oh! Hold on a second. I know that guy. I knew this would happen. Where is he? Guys, you're gonna like this. It's Campbell! <laughs> yeah, after he got excommunicated, he became a weeper. Yes. Curse that fool Hiram Burroughs, Lord Regent, my lily white bottom. Heretics ban of all things. I should have been banned the ritual. Or I should have banned the ritual. In truth, I plan to use it against a few undesirable should the need arise. Okay. May flies nest in your eyes, Corvo, and may all your desires come to ruin as you have ruined mine. Okay, so I guess he figured out that the mask guy was Corvo. It's a shame that nobody would listen to him because he was heretical branded. All my gear? Yes! That's 
weird. They're being shot? Okay. Come on now. I don't like it when I get close, I guess. Jeez. You guys are stubborn. All right. I think I just saw a pearl right there. Oh, it's a bolt. All right. Looks like I'm done with this area. Oh, there's a room. Yeah! Here we go. I think I'll get Wind Blast now. I'll see if I can put it to good use. We go. Let's get back to Dowd. Hmm? What? I thought it would shatter doors. It says that, right? There we go. Wow, it's got some range on it. Even the terrible floods were not enough to wash away the sounds of Dunmore. Whoa. Oh, watch out! Oh. Oh god, the hagfish are eating them. Ah, oh. I was trying to be a pacifist there. Weird, you can hear them teleport. I wonder if I make a noise when I teleport. It's not looking this way, though. You tell me those clans have a better perception than these assassins. I'm not going to get a lot of chances to take these assassins out non-lethally. Or I guess, since they're not on duty right now, are they technically even assassins? Let's call them whalers. Everyone was looking for someone to blame. Waters rose day by day. Give their shops to ankle high muck and river crest. Truth is, it wasn't some plot to wipe even the prosperous Red Shores Red Shore off Dunwell's maps. It was laziness and stupidity. The barriers kept the rising river waters out, hadn't been maintained in at least a decade. The city was so tied up fighting the plague, no one lifted a finger to salvage the place. Living in the place the region's forgotten about has its perks. Spirit water? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Wait. 
Uh, uh, get rid of Acrobat. I think it's alright that I climb a little slower now. I can't say I really noticed it all that much. another way to get my gear. I see. Interesting. like I'm being looked for. Maybe I can just get past these guys without them even knowing I was here. Real station office key. If I sleep that guy now, he'd probably fall off the whole building again. Nice teleport, jackass. This guy had a key, too. Let me up. district. This is an old rail car. Oh, sweet! Borwin, imagine the firepower of a tall boy with the speed and ease of concealment of a pistol. As new technology, any soldier with a steady gun arm will be forced to reckon with. Explosive bullets? I feel like that's a gadget that I never actually have used in a previous playthrough. 